I'm Graham Fenney, founder of Epiphagy, and you're about to hear the story of how Foodlink and Epiphagy came to partner in turning waste, uh, to food waste to be exact, into ethanol fuel. Um, this is really an exciting time for us. We have um, always had more waste than we knew what to do with. Uh, it's sort of the nature of food banking. But food is a precarious item and uh, it's a precarious process anyway and, and food is a perishable item and oftentimes we lose some of what, uh, what we ultimately uh, acquire. So 15 million pounds in, 9 million pounds donated, the rest of that stuff is going into a landfill. Epiphagy is all about turning food waste and other kinds of organic waste into ethanol fuel. Uh, after the product is received in, uh, we actually sort that product and all the soda is separated out. Um, and then it's determined from there whether it's expired or damaged. Um, if it is, then those items are going to go to Epiphagy. And if it's not, then we're going to be able to get that out to our agencies that are in need. So here's our grinding process, and here we grind up all kinds of food waste that comes to us that's no longer fit for human consumption. On Monday we did 200 gallons of soda, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you know, a thousand pounds of bread and produce. Once we've ground up all the food waste and turned it into a nice thick slurry, it's pumped over here to our fermentation tank. And after about three or five days, these tanks will contain uh, a beer that you would not want to drink, but still nevertheless contains anywhere from 10 to 15 percent alcohol by volume. Once fermentation is complete, the resulting fermented slurry comes to our solid liquid separation process, where solids come get separated from the clean liquid that goes on to be turned into ethanol fuel. Oh, it's a technical term. It's ripe gunk. In seven, eight weeks, you have uh, you have spring dirt. You have a nutrient dense. Uh, highly, highly um, valuable black gold. We look to be able to bring our own dirt to the urban agriculture activities that are going on in our community. And, and the real bonus is if we can, um, and we will, uh, get that product into uh, a manageable uh, distribution bag of five or ten pound uh, in a bag that, uh, that you can help uh, uh, us fight hunger at the same time why you use that product to, uh, to help fight hunger yourself. This is the stuff we're going after. The liquid goes into a settling tank. Where you can see nice clear liquid on top and then a layer of very fine solids such as yeast settling out to the bottom. After about two or three days, the level of the settled solids drops down and we're able to pump off the nice clear liquid and use that as the feedstock and the microfueler for ethanol fuel production. So here in this tank we've got 250 gallons of that nice clear clean fermented liquid that we made from food waste. That the waste was on its way to a landfill until we processed it and turned it into this liquid. On this side we've got the microfueler which will take that fermented liquid, distill it, and turn it into a high quality ethanol fuel that you can use in your existing cars and trucks and this machine will produce between 10 and 20 gallons of fuel every day. If we were to gather some potatoes out of the field today, we could put it in. We could ferment it, grind it, ferment it, let it settle, distill it, and have it in our tank in a week. 